Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. After we asked our YouTube viewers to respond to us if they've captured anything amazing regarding UFO or paranormal activity, we've been flooded here with Skypes and Twitters from around the world. Now straight across the pond from Wimbledon, London, we're here with Johnny Webb and he's going to be sharing with us some exclusive video and pictures that he shot. Johnny, thanks for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. Hey, you're welcome, Blake. Well, Let's get to it now and let's start going over the pictures and videos that you shot. Can you tell us first this location in Germany where you captured some kind of metallic saucer? Sure. Um, I was actually visiting some friends in Germany because what I do is I'm a member of a flight club and basically through Skype and through other TeamSpeak, other programs, we have an international air traffic control through the flight simulator. To get used to it, they take us on a tour. And one of these tours was this church. And as I said, I found it fascinating looking like church and steeple. And I thought, wow, I've never seen a hollow steeple. So I started to take some shots. And uh, as I say, I was taking these shots. I was getting some close-ups of the steeple. And then when I got back to England, I put them on my big flat screen TV, as you do. And to my surprise, there was this uh, disc type object. I thought it was a pigeon or something at first. But when I zoomed into it, I realized that's not a pigeon, it's too big for a pigeon. And, uh, you know, as I zoomed in and zoomed in, I just realized that's an odd looking thing. And to me, it looks like a UFO, but I can't say that it is, I'm not sure. But I believe it to be something like that. But I never saw it when I took it. That's absolutely amazing, Johnny. You know, we receive videos and photos from around the world, and this looks very similar to the Brisbane Australian sighting just recently that we received here at Third Phase of Moon, and it resembles a classic UFO metallic saucer. When when I went into the church, because obviously, the, you know, the, the church had got bombed in the war, in the Second World War, so in 1945, this place lost its entire roof and everything. And so when you walk in the front door, to the left or the right, there's photographs of the original damage of what, what went on and there's you know you can see in the photograph that you've got here um what it looked like and but basically what i found weird again not at the time of taking it but only when i got home and looked at the photograph when i zoomed in right up in the top right hand side of this particular photograph i noticed like a very small delta type shape almost like it had a fin coming out the back like a stingray on its tail um, but again, I can't really say for sure of that one because that might be something on the actual picture or something that I took. But I found it I, you know, quite canny that, wow, look, I've taken a photograph and I've got a UFO. And now when I look at the old photographs of what the building looked like, there's this odd shape at the top. And I found that to be strange. But if you're in Bremer Harvard in Germany, please go into that church and tell us, is that little thing a stain or, or, or a chip or is it in the photograph? I'd, I'd like to know as well. Can you tell us, Johnny, how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? Uh, I was on the YouTube. I've been sort of interested in ufology for many, many years. And uh, I'd seen some of your HD quality videos. And uh, I found it a good site to, to connect, really. So, you know, I subscribed and I, I got your latest video, which was about your friend in Australia and that uh, you were Skyping together and how quickly communications were. And I Skyped you today and we're having this conversation this afternoon. You're exactly right, Johnny. The Skype and the technology allows us to speak to anybody around the world like normal people like you on YouTube. Again, Johnny, thank you for uh, joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. For anybody out there that's captured anything amazing regarding UFO or paranormal activity, you contact us via Skype or Twitter, A Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time. Thanks again, Johnny, for uh, you know it's been an amazing uh, experience being with you, and uh, looking forward to uh, you know more uh, amazing videos from the UK. Um, what I captured was a saucer looking look like um, UFO flying. I was at a friend's house and we walked, we were going to the backyard and just looking at the screen as we are coming out, we looked up into the sky and it was a, the UFO flying. It looked quite low. I uh, got a clear image of it. I'd like to show you. And my name's Cordell Delo. All right, Cordell. Well, 
This is gonna be the first time that anybody's seen this picture throughout the world, and we're gonna exclusively bring it to you on third phase of moon, right? Yes, we are. All right, well, here we go. Right. Let's take a look at this photo. All right, Cordell, this definitely seems like some kind of UFO metallic flying object. Really spectacular, right out of the Roswell sighting. Are you gonna be able to send this high-res image to us at third phase of moon so we could share it? Yes, I will be able to, yeah. Okay, well, let's take a look at this high-res picture right now. So can you tell us when he photographed that UFO that day, was was there somebody with you you were saying, and what what did they experience? Um, I had a, I was at my friend's house when I took it, and um, you know they were just quite stunned when they saw it. You know, it wasn't something you know it's quite out of normal to see, so they were quite amazed by it. And yeah, it's an incredible photograph that we're looking at right now. Can you tell us, did you take any other photos of this object flying by? Um, no, that was really the only one I could get because by the time I got that photo, it was gone. Well, you know, once in a lifetime, great shot. Oh, I've, yeah, I've got other photos of different, I've got ones of um, orange lights in the sky at night. Uh, I've got one of, one second, since I got my telescope, I was taking pictures of the moon, and what I can see in it is I can see a UFO look like look like object, and I've got a photo of that to show you. Oh, this is amazing. All right, more exclusive right here at Third Phase of Moon. You have an archive of photographs and UFOs. Would you be willing to visit us here at Third Phase of Moon on a continuous basis and share some of your videos and UFOs with us? Yeah, no problem. Well, this uh, I'd love to show you that. This is absolutely fantastic. Making connections on Skype. Cordell, how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? Um, I've, I take a high interest in the UFO sightings and um, I've just been looking over YouTube cha like channels and I've found yours and been viewing quite a bit of them lately. And as, as I saw on some of them, I've, I've just, you know, I just saw the Skype name, so I thought I'd add you and let you know some of the sightings I've had. Well, you know, Skype is an amazing tool, and we encourage all our viewers on YouTube, if you captured anything amazing, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon. Thanks, Cordell, for joining us here again. My name's Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time. Well, to tell you the truth, I never really believed in UFOs. Um, I never thought they were real, up until I met Robert. Um, this guy has, has exposed me to certain things that I never, I thought were fantasy. Basically, when he calls these, when he calls UFOs, they basically come out of the, out of the sky, out of a clear blue sky. You see unidentified flying object, object that you've never seen before in your entire life. It's just unbelievable. After I ran, after I met Robert, he just happened to move into my building. After I met him, he exposed me to, I want to say, man, maybe 70 or 80 different UFOs within two weeks, two weeks time. They've been following me uh, since I was exposed to them by him. They've been following me pretty much everywhere I go. I see them. Mark, so you tell us here at Third Phase of Moon, if I were to be lucky enough to hang out with Robert any day of the week, just for an hour, you could actually summon a UFO and we could actually capture it on camera. Yes, on camera. Not one, not two, many. Many. So Robert, you're gonna be sharing us an exclusive video for the first time on YouTube. Viewers for the first time are gonna see this around the world. Can you share this picture that you photographed? Apparently you say that there are pilots in this UFO photograph. There's a pilot and a co-pilot. Yes, I can. Well, let's, can you share it with us now? Yes, I can. Can you hold this? Actually, I was waiting with my camera for this type of photo, uh, which I'm always waiting, but they actually came and I caught this photo, which is uh, right here is a ball turret and it looks like a laser. Over here on this side is, uh, I think, the pilot. 
and he has his hand on this green panel, which is, uh, I think, the flight control. All right, Robert, can you give us a brief summary in your history in regards to the phenomenon? Okay, the, the ph phenomenon, it, the way I would describe it is that when they came around me, they came around me and fed me enough like if they were giving breastfeeding me, not so that I, would o I won't overload. And then they uh, gradually exposed me to better, bigger and better things, and uh, which I would say would be baby food. And then, and this was over a long time period, and now they're giving me meat. Uh, what I mean is so I can handle it. I figured that if I got too much exposure, what they actually showed me over this time, I probably would have went, uh, you know, flipped discern that they're not here to harm us because they can harm us anytime they want. They are here to enlighten us I think. and that uh, to the fact that uh, we are not alone. Hey Mark, so how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? I was just on the internet looking at other sightings to see if I could familiarize myself with what I've, what I've been seeing. So when I came across your videos, I actually saw a connection. Wait a minute, I'm like, that's exactly what I'm seeing. So I saw a couple, you know, a couple of clips that you had up there were what I have been looking at the past couple of days, the past couple of weeks, actually. I was actually waiting for it with my camera ready to go. And it appeared maybe about 400 feet high and maybe about a, a block away. So Robert and Mike, I want to assure you, when you release these photos to us exclusively at Third Phase of Moon, we're going to give it our best opportunity to get it out to the world. We receive over 100,000 hits a day, and we have multimedia sources throughout the world to show our videos and photographs. So I want to assure you that you're in a great place to get your story out and not get it suppressed before you even had a chance. I, uh, I feel the time is right for the world to know. And that this is uh, real and that um, we better find out what they really want us to know. I believe that they want to warn us of, of maybe even a meteor, uh, the dark star coming. Um, there's something happening and we better put our resources to figure it out. Don't dwell on that doomsday thing. You know, you got to have faith and believe and uh, that's what's going to save us. Well, the photograph that you sent us is absolutely amazing. And you've invited us at Third Phase of Moon and a camera crew to come and visit you at your residence to take a look at some more of your exclusive photos on location there, correct? Yeah. Yes, correct. Well, this is an absolute fantastic opportunity for the world and us and the YouTube viewers to see firsthand on how we operate and investigate UFOs caught on video and photographs from around the world. My name's Blake Cousins. If you've captured anything, you contact us via Skype or Twitter. We'll see you next time. Robert Bingham and Mark Guzman from Pasadena, California. They've been sharing with us at Third Phase of Moon exclusive videos and pictures caught just this past couple days. All right, Mark and Robert, thanks again for joining us at Third Phase of Moon. I want to ask you both, Mark and Robert, what, what you have to say to the debunkers that say what we're doing right now is some kind of manufactured interview and Third Phase of Moon isn't being transparent. What would you have to say to those kind of people? I'd like to say to the debunkers that um, this is truly authentic works, um, that they should be careful of saying things that they have no knowledge of uh, and to have an open mind that uh, this is real and uh, it's not uh, it's not manufactured. I, know it, I don't know anything about Photoshop or, or editing a video or anything like that. I do know how to take pictures though have about 20,000 photos 
and I'm just coming out with them. So they're going to see a whole lot of things, and and I want them to be get enlightened and to be ready for strange and unusual photographs that they might assume again that aren't real, and, uh, but they are real. Robert, when you studied the dynamics of its flight characteristics, did it seem like it was gliding or had some kind of energy or engine or? Did this appear to have wings, as a matter of fact? What do you, how do you describe them? I believe that they slingshot with gravitational pull from different stars and uh, that they don't have really an engine, that they just have a computer that can uh, manipulate grabbing, uh, grabbing onto different stars out there and uh, their gravitational pull. The people on YouTube have been following this video very heavily and just today it doubled in its views and clicks and it's going viral and it's really exciting what's happening with what's happening here with you guys in Pasadena and us at Third Phase of Moon and to share it with it, the world. I think it, 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 it was going to happen and, it, and I've said it was going to happen as soon as they went public with this. Uh, it doesn't surprise me because it's supposed to happen that this is my mission is to enlighten people to the fact that we are not alone and to open their minds. If it wasn't for Mark making contact with Third Phase of Moon, this would not have been possible. Mark, tell me, what do you think about this video going viral and the future investigations we're going to be doing in the future? I think it's great. I, just, I, I, I really want to get to the bottom of it. I really want to know what it is and why it's in our airspace. You know, I want to know, I want to know more facts about what's going on up there. I mean, it's definitely some kind of phenomenon that's occurring o over our heads and we have no idea. The general public has no idea that these things are up there. So I think that I don't know if it poses a threat to to us citizens or, or what. I just, you know, all I know is I just look up and I see something kind of like looking at me. It's kind of, it's a little different, you know. So I'd like, to, I'd like to, if this can get out to the world or somebody who has some kind of knowledge or you know, in these matters, maybe you know, we can get down to the bottom of this to find out what's going on. And I guess the world has to know that we're not alone because I think the government's probably been covering it up for a long time now. It's definitely up to the world and the community to come together as one and share the information. They're not here to harm us. They're not here to, uh, to enlighten us for the next phase of uh, human existence. For any, any, any debunkers out there, especially people who are, you know, have the knowledge of photography, um, get those photographs and look for the pixelations and look for where it can be photoshopped in there and you're not gonna find it. What's exciting right now is that you're gonna be inviting us, Third Phase of Moon, to your home and residence, also with Mark Guzman, with our camera crew, inviting Third Phase of Moon to join you and for you to share your pictures and summon UFOs for our cameramen if possible, correct? Correct. Because uh, uh, seeing is believing and uh, uh, try to debunk that one. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Just a week ago, we made contact and we're going to have our camera crew down there and we're hoping we can actually make contact with these UFOs. My name is Blake Cousins uh, and if you've caught anything amazing, you join us at Third Phase of Moon and send it to us via Skype or Twitter. We'll see you next time. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins. Yesterday, I received a Skype from Joe Bass from El Salvador. He captured an amazing UFO sighting in the dusk of night. Thanks, Joe, for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. Can you tell our YouTube audience what happened when you spotted this amazing UFO sighting and what was your reaction? I was getting off work where we're setting up some communication towers here in El Salvador. I walked outside 
and I saw these lights in the sky. I thought it must be some low-flying airplanes. I kept looking at it, but it wasn't moving like an airplane, and it was different multi-colors undulating in the sky. So I was really freaking out after a while. So I grabbed out my camera phone and started taking some shots of it. And I caught what I caught, but my batteries basically ran out before I could get it really what was going on. But I caught something at least. So it's really blew my mind. A couple of people started looking around when they saw me with my camera looking up in the sky. They started looking and pointing at it and just tripping out. And since they were speaking Spanish, my Spanish wasn't that good. I couldn't get just they're saying la luz, la luz in the sky, the lights in the sky. It's pretty much all I could get for them, but they were, they were tripping out also. I'd never seen anything with that kind of lights in the sky. I have no idea, but it was nothing like what I've ever seen. It didn't just travel in a straight line. The colors, the object was undulating. It didn't just keep a circular shape like you'd think some, the light was changing. I wish I could have had more and I wish I had a better camera basically where I could have got sharper pictures. Thanks for sharing your footage with us at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you. If you've captured anything amazing yourself, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon. My name's Blake Cousins. We'll see you next time. Yes, I'm fucking. Yes, it is. Holy shit. Can you try and focus? Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we're here with Alex Player, known as a polished knob right out of Australia. He's an amazing phenom right here on YouTube in regards to alien sightings. In his backyard, he is capturing some amazing footage yes, of alien yes, beings yes. visiting him and his mother in Australia. Alex, thanks for joining us again at Third Phase of Moon. Can you tell us the history of what you've been shooting in your backyard and when it got started? Um, it all started in October 2010, and uh, that was that was the first time I saw anything. And um, it's been continually happening every two, three weeks. Um, sometimes it's been. One, one time it was two days apart, other times it's been months apart uh, for the last, well, until now, um, up until I think about a month ago, three months, three weeks ago. Hey, can you tell us here at Third Phase of Moon and our viewers, if these beings are malicious in any way, are you scared of them or are they, how are they reacting to this encounter with you and your mother? See, I don't know, I don't, I, obviously I don't know what they're thinking or what they're doing. I mean, you can't treat them like uh, uh, something, like an animal that you know what they're going to do, their instincts, because no one knows what, what they're going to do or anything about them. Um, they've only been aggressive if I've come too close. That's the only thing I've found to be aggressive is if I was too close. If when I've walked into the grass and they've been there, that they, that's the only time I've found any kind of aggression. Alex, I have to ask you, would you be willing to come to Third Phase of Moon with more encounters in the future if you experience them and share it with us at Third Phase of Moon so we could share this amazing experience that you're having at the moment in Australia? Yep. I mean, of course I could share anything with you and um, share. that's why I'm putting them on YouTube to share them with everyone in the world. This is absolutely amazing. Just recently we made Skype with the polished knob out of Australia and he's made contact with us at Third Phase of Moon and we're able to share this. The new one, the one on my ports, hurry up bud. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Okay. I can see better with my own eyes than the actual yes, camera picks up. Uh, even, even on night vision, I can, most of the time I can still see better by myself. Um, so I can always see it a bit clearer. 
Alex, would you consider in the future if we'd be able to bring a camera crew and a major production so we could bring our night vision cameras on location to your spot and see if we can help you out? I, I, that'd be awesome to have to have four cameras set up around the house uh, and obviously better cameras. All right, Alex, I want to ask you about these encounters. At points, you are screaming and actually have a Shit. lot of vulgar language, I'd have to say. What is it in, in regards to when you're encountering these and you're acting in this kind of manner? Did you say it, Wayne? Um, it's just what comes naturally, natural to me. Um, I'm just doing and acting the way I naturally Fuck do. Me. I mean, um, I try as of late, I'm trying to keep it down a bit and stop scaring it away and, you know, screaming at it pretty much. Um, whether it can tell that, you know, I mean, I don't think it understands maybe what I'm saying, but on the other hand, they're probably a lot smarter than us and they do understand what I'm saying. So I try to keep it down and not swear so much. Can you tell us, Alex, what was the most shocking or most relevant part that you knew at that moment that what was happening was not normal? Um, definitely when I got pulled through the grass. Um, I had absolutely no control over anything. Like I just, I'm just being pulled. You know what I mean? And 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 it was just. It was just like I was like on a slide, just sliding, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was probably the most I've been scared ever in my whole life. Um, as I was being pulled away, I got into, I was in the grass and I, I stopped moving, I stood up and then I saw I, it come towards me through the grass and I kind of, um, well, I kind of pushed it off type of thing, if you know what I mean. And it, as, as that happened, it clawed, it, it, something, it grabbed my shirt. As you see, I ran out of the grass with my shirt ripped. What the fuck? Holy shit! Fuck! Um, if you want to contact me, obviously go to the Polish Knob. Uh, on YouTube, that's all, just search it. Um, so yeah, join that. Probably the best way to actually contact me and obviously to watch footage go on uh, the policy. Alex, what would you have to say to anybody that's debunking your videos or say it's a prop in your backyard and you're making this whole thing up? My main thing is recreate it. That's, that's what I think. I mean, you cannot recreate something that is genuinely real. Um, yeah, I mean, no one has ever attempted, I've said it heaps of times, I've said it in videos, recreate it, you know what I mean? Um, especially with, with, you know, with crappy cameras and, and stuff like that, and, you know, I mean, no one, you, you can't re recreate the footage that I've captured. All right, Alex, thanks again for joining us at Third Phase of Moon, and we'll keep our viewers updated on more updates from Australia. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. We're here with world famous Jose Escamilla. He's been studying what's been going on on the moon in his latest documentary called Celestial. Thanks for joining us at Third Phase hey, it's of Moon. Good to be, it's good to be with you guys again. It's good to see you, as a matter of fact. It's been since 2001. Remember we did the Fox TV special together? It was an amazing ride. We're doing the special for Fox regarding the phenomenon known as Rods and the Skyfish. Yes, sir, man, that was 2001. You've come a long way, Jose. Tell me, what are you working on now? Right now, I'm doing a movie called Celestial, which is about the full color photography of the moon. You can see structures there, domes. Uh, you can see details up there like water, clouds, smoke, all sorts of really weird looking things that are uh, up there. You can see mountains of gold. So this movie uh, is gonna start West Duty and, and myself and Chief Golden Eagle. And uh, it's a trip to the moon like you've never had, man. Full color photography of the moon. Nothing like it anywhere in the world. Incredible. We're looking at these images right now. Tell me, Jose, do you believe in ancient aliens that visited the moon and left behind ancient structures? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, interesting thing is um, 
I have photography taken by the Apollo uh, 16 mission of this one crater, and, and you can look up the crater, it's called Lobachevsky. And they're excavating, somebody is excavating this part of the crater. And then uh, eight months later, during the Apollo 17 photo, uh, the Apollo 17 mission, they've now built this structure that's like 10 miles wide, five miles high. In eight months, we don't have any kind of construction equipment that could do that in eight months. And this thing is a mysterious looking thing. It looked like a spaceship at first, but it shows that somebody's building these things up there on the moon's surface. And it's amazing the size of these things. Incredible. What would you say to the people that would say that, wow, structures on the moon, you're nuts. Prove it. Well, the, the, the proof is in the pudding and NASA took the photography for us. We, I don't make this stuff up. You know, this is NASA's pho pho photographs taken during the Clementine mission. They took 1.8 million digital full color photographs of the moon. And you can see them. And here's the thing, NASA has been perpetuating the myth that, that the moon is a black and white desert or piece of rock. It is far, you know, it's furthest from the truth, man. Uh, the moon is a celestial body. And it, uh, this color photography proves it. When you see stuff in black and white, you don't have, no, you don't have any depth of uh, perception. Over the years, you've been studying UFOs and ancient aliens, and you have a lot of information that you want to get out. Would you be willing to come to Third Phase of Moon in the future and share more and talk with us about your information? It would be a privilege of absolute, man, anytime. You guys are... Uh, Two of my favorite people in the world, and uh, I really enjoy. I'm, I'm so glad that you had me on your show. So yeah, anytime, by all means. It's been a pleasure, Jose, speaking with you and seeing you again after all these years, and looking forward to more information and amazing material from you, Jose Escamilla. Thank you, sir. I'll be. I can't wait to be on again. My name's Blake Cousins, and if you've captured anything amazing like Jose, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon. We'll see you next time. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Yesterday, we received a Skype all the way from Southampton of an amazing UFO cloaking and morphing on videotape. We're here with Sean Hedder. Tell us, Sean, what really happened that day and how did you actually come across this UFO in your sights? Well, basically, um, just leaning out of my bathroom window to get some air. And I was there for a good 15 minutes and uh, looking up in the beautiful blue sky and uh, I just like a glistening caught my eye. And at first I thought it was like a seagull or something like that and uh, yeah, and I grabbed my camera and started taking shots basically. Let's take a look at this video right now. I haven't seen anything. I mean, we've got an airport uh, about three miles away and I'm used to seeing low aircraft and this, this was nothing like I've ever seen before. And you're sharing your exclusive video also with these amazing photos of chemtrails and UFOs spotted in the foreground? Been filming the chemtrails for quite some time and uh, I've noticed there always seems to be some sort of activity within the chemtrails. Um, everything that I've caught on photograph has been pure accident. Tell me Sean, how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? Uh, right here on YouTube. Yep, I saw your videos, I subscribed to you guys, and yeah, I thought, why not get in contact, got some photographs, so I might as well give it a whirl. Well, Sean, I really want to thank you for joining us at Third Phase of Moon with this incredible footage. So tell me, Sean, if anybody out there wants to debunk this video, or you say that you're faking this via Photoshop or After Effects, what would you have to tell these people? It's a good, honest video. It is what it is. It, uh, it's a UFO. It's an unidentified flying object. We really appreciate it. Oh no, thank you. Thanks guys for what you're doing. I think it's important to share these videos with the world and hopefully the truth will come out someday. If you've captured anything amazing, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Twitter. My name's Blake Cousins. We'll see you next time.
Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins. Yesterday I received a Skype from Steliano Monifis from New Jersey. He claims he shot an amazing video of a purple aircraft in the sky. Steliano, thanks for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you, Blake. Can you tell our YouTube audience what you captured that day when you're at the beach? Well, it was down in Florida at St. Pete's Beach and there was a big halo up in the sky as we were lying on the uh, on the beach. So I took my iPhone and I videotaped the halo. The and that's all that we really saw, which was pretty impressive by itself. Uh, later on, when we got back to uh, our home and I uh, uploaded the video on my computer, uh, there was a purple star right along the halo on the rim, but it wasn't a sun, sun glare or anything. You could tell it, it, it just stayed right there. It was pretty amazing because you couldn't see it with the human eye. It only showed up on the phone. We're looking at this video right now. Can you tell me, Celiano, what kind of aircraft this possibly could have been if it weren't a UFO, if you could explain that to us? Well, I don't know if it's any aircraft. That uh, uh, You see the video yourself. Like I said, I didn't see it, it while we were there. I only saw the video. That's all I saw. Uh, the blue, the uh, purple star. It only showed up on the video. Celiano, tell us, how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? Uh, surfing on the internet, on YouTube, and a lot of the videos and a lot of the uh, previous uh, stories that you had that you uploaded, I was watching and I came across your website. Tell me, have we ever met at any other time besides today via Third Phase of Moon and Skype? And what would you have to say to the debunkers that say this is some kind of artificial interview. Well, everybody behind the computer, Blake, says a lot of things. Everybody has an opinion about everything. Uh, instead of giving your opinion, how about opening your eyes? Because what you guys are doing is fantastic. You guys are actually out there. You're on the fly. You're on the net. I sent you an email, what was it, a couple days ago? You got back to me, we already did an interview, you're ready to put it up. You know what, that, that shows how honest you are and how straightforward everything you're doing is. So to all you debunkers out there, you know what, open your eyes because you're walking and sleeping at the same time. Very well said, Celiano. We at Third Phase of Moon have blown this up and analyzed it very carefully and from what we can tell, it is not a star and it is not a reflection off the sun. This is absolutely a genuine UFO sighting. If you've captured anything amazing, like Ciliano, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Twitter. My name's Blake Cousins and we'll see you again next time. Ciliano, thanks again for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. My pleasure. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name's Blake Cousins. This morning, I received a Skype from Omar Arar, all the way from London. He witnessed an amazing UFO as a live BBC broadcast was happening. Thanks for joining us at Third Phase of Moon. Thanks for having me. All right, tell me exactly what happened and what you witnessed as you're watching this live broadcast on the BBC. Now, I was sitting down with my wife, we were just watching the show. And uh, I always keep my eye in the skies anyway because I, I enjoy looking for UFOs and everything like that. And I noticed something passing this woman's shoulder. I noticed it the first time and I paused the TV and I rewinded it again. And I played it and I noticed it. And it was like really obvious, you know, this bright light zooming across her shoulder. It was brilliant. We're taking a look at this video right now and it is quite impressive. Can you tell me? Do you think it's some kind of bird or a shooting star or some kind of UFO? It's definitely a UFO. Definitely. It couldn't be a bird, it couldn't be a plane, nothing like that. Tell me, Omar, how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? So I've been looking at your stuff for quite a while now. I found you on YouTube and really enjoying your videos. Thanks again, Omar, for sharing this amazing footage. Thank you. My name's Blake Cousins. And if you've captured anything amazing, send it to us. We'll see you next time.
Ewa, Ewa.